Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm very, very fine. Hi, good Great. evening. Nice to see you again. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How did the weekend go? How was the weekend? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Did you rest? Did you relax? Did you enjoy? Yeah. Saturday, Great. Sunday? Great. <laughs> Fast. Too quickly. Very burning. I know. All right. Well, it's our third week on this module, on this course, and we are starting the unit or session three. So this is, we got the 50 already, 50% 50 of the course, okay? You can write any message on the chat so that you can say hello to your partners, say, Something nice. All right. Teacher. Yes. Sorry for I not be at class the Thursday and Friday, but I traveled to Cancun. And <laughs> the oh, time... Okay. The time is, yes, because to uh, the motion, the, the time, the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Too many inconveniences. Yes, All but right. um, this week I did the class. All right, perfect. Oh, no problem. Perfect. Thank, Thank you for Thank informing. Thank you. Yes, we were just wondering what had happened to you. <laughs> All right. Well, say hello, everybody. Hello, good evening. Well, well, as I mentioned, this is our third week. This is our third unit, our third session. And I hope you are all fine. I hope you're all okay. Yes. Hello, good evening. Okay. So it's a lot easier for me when you say hello on the chat because I notice who's present. So when I take the attendance, I remember your names. All right. Okay. See, hello, hello. Good evening. Well, the first thing we gotta do is definitely have the attendance taken. My God, let me see. I need to find the right date, which is today. Hello. Good evening. Hello, me voy a sentar en los 10 minutos, pero ya regreso. All right, no problem. Good evening. Okay. Miss, I have a question. Tell me. Usted no va a dar todos los módulos o se van a ir? <laughs> Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. That's a very interesting question. No, siempre no rotan. No! <laughs> no, please! You need to have different perspectives, different methodology, different accent, <laughs> different pronunciation. It's it's important and it's recommended for you to adapt. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't worry. Going... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all right, no problem. <laughs> Okay, I see. Yes, Douglas, gracias, Ricardo. Gracias, eh? good evening, good evening. And Douglas, again. All right. Well, I'm going to have the attendance. I heard some people just mm -hmm. were going to step away for a while. That's fine. 
Let me see. Okay. Cristina. Present teacher. How are you, Christine? I'm fine. Nice. Dinner already? Did you have dinner? Not yet. Just arriving home. Okay. Andrea. I don't know if it was Andrea who was going to get up. I think. Brian. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. That's fine. Yep. Busy day. Tired. Mm, eh. Same. Eh. Same old, same old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds funny. <laughs> All right, Christian. Present. Christian, how are you, Christian? Hi. All good? Hi, hi, man. Yes. <laughs> nice. All right, David Miguel Angel. That's David Escobar. Present teacher. How are you? Hi, hey, thanks. Just fine. Good. Doris? Hi, good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Um, I'm fine. Much A better. Little bit. <laughs> A little bit yes. sick still. Sick. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Thank you. All right, Douglas. Present. No rain today? No. Thank God. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. All right, nice. Welcome. Thank you. All right, Stephanie Carolina. Present teacher. Hello. What did you bring us from Cancun? Very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Too spicy food. Oh, oh, food is very spicy, but really? I, you I love, love it. it. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yes, I bet. Francisco yeah. Javier. Present. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Frank? All good? All fine? All good. All right. Nice. Gracias. Present. How is it going? Yeah. <laughs> How is it going? How are you? Fine, and you? Okay, I'm all right. I'm alive. <laughs> Today I wear clothes. Really? Yes, in Opico. Oh, yes. And last Friday? Um, San Salvador. Really? Yes. And you live? En Ciudad Arce, en la ah, libertad. it's true. So, Pico is near, very near. Super. Uh -huh, it's true. Wow. Interesting. But last Friday, the rain? Terrible. Yes. All right. Hector Manuel. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi, fine. Thank you. How was your weekend? Good. All good. Sí. Nice. I'm y glad. Si no, si no les respondo en algún momento, que estoy bajo una ramada y está lloviendo un poquito. Really? Sí. Oh my God. Be careful. <laughs> no se nos vaya a electrocutar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> careful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Joana de la Paz. Joanna. Joanna has a beautiful name, De La Paz. Ter, ella comentó de que tenía problemas de conexión. No sé si al final se, se pudo solventar. Ah, sí. Oh, my goodness. Okay, thank sí. you. Sí. José Antonio. José José. Tiene problemas para llegar, dicho. Really? Transportation. Sí. sí. Ay, no. Y esto del, del tráfico ahorita está serious. 
Last Friday, a friend was going from Santa Tecla to Armenia, and he said he spent two hours, y todavía seguían en Santa Tecla, no se movían. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> imagine oh, horrible <laughs> okay Carla I see Carla somewhere no yet no poor Carla okay Laura present teacher hi hi Miguel Angel Not yet. No, Hello, sir. teacher. Aquí estoy. Solo le he dicho que me iba a sentar un momentito, pero aquí estoy. Ah, it's true, it's true, it's true. Thank you. Okay. All right. Nelson. Present, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Ricardo. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Then we have Wendy. Present teacher. So, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Nice. Happy to hear that. <laughs> and Wilmer. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Alguien que no lo haya mencionado? Did I mention everybody, every name on the list? Yes. Teacher, say my name. Did I say your name? I didn't. Oh my God. Probably. Let me see. Let me see. I think I did. <laughs> if not, all right. If not, yes, I guess I say Miguel Ramirez. Or maybe I skip you. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes, I think I say Miguel Angel. Yes. All right. No problem. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Oh, my goodness. Wow. We have the manual. My own reference. I'm going to show you where we are going to start with the unit three. So for a better reference, but let me just share the screen as soon as I have right here the unit. Okay. We almost, well, yeah, we're right there. We finished unit one and unit two. And we've been practicing a lot of structures, a lot of vocabulary, a lot of, let's say, new expressions. And yes, we talk a lot about the simple present, affirmative statements, negative statements. We talk about asking yes, no question. We talk about routine, about activities that you do at work, and so on and so forth. And today is the day to start a new unit. And this new unit, it's about where do you work? <laughs> okay, now we're going to start thinking about the places where you work, okay? Of course, the first thing we mentioned is the, sorry, the name of the company, right? But then we got to be more specific and we mentioned the name of, hold on, the name of the department. We usually mention the name of the department, right? So we got to be a little bit more specific. And we say what department we work for, what are our main uh, tasks, our main responsibilities in the company. So this is practically what we're gonna be discussing and doing. Okay, so information questions and answers. So we usually go with that, okay? 
So at the end of the session, participants will be able to ask information questions and give out answers. So that's practically the I got some vocabulary and the objective that we're gonna cover. So we got production, research and development, marketing, human resources, management, accounting and finance. I don't know what other departments you probably have in your companies, right? So for you to be able to see that, I'm going to, let me see, I'm gonna show you also from your manual so that you can get familiar with this unit, okay? So this is the unit three for better reference, okay? So in unit three, you will be able to describe the different departments in your workplace and what they do. So it's not that you only gonna describe your own department, but probably the departments that the company has, right? So you're going to brainstorm about the different departments in your workplace, where do you belong to, what do you do? Okay, so we have this vocabulary here. Listen to your teacher, read the following departments. I'm sorry about the dogs. One second. All right, sorry about the interruption of the doll. We have production, research and development, purchasing, marketing, human resources management, accounting and finance. And of course, here you have the definitions. Research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Develop, design, new or improve existing products or process. Buy and acquire raw material, production, equipment, etc. for the use of the organization. These are the meaning. So first try to match. You say production. What can be the definition of production? Research okay. and identify, recruit, select and train, keep the financial record, control and supervise the this, production. This, this one, right? So here you write the number one the number one mm -hmm. okay number two research and development mm -hmm. uh, then you go again research and identify what customers <laughs> want and need at the right place recruit and select what, the first one what is the meaning of development desarrollo Develop, design, new, or improve it, exist, product, 
or process. Develop, design, new or improve existing products or process. This research and development. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is number two. So here you write number two. Mm -hmm. and then you have purchasing. The next by the buy and acquire raw material, production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. So this should be number three. Marketing. Research and identify. Research what cost? and identify what customers want at the right and place. It's... Uh -huh, what they need at the right place. So this is number four. four. Human resources management. Recruit, select, and, and train you employer ways for the right job in the company. Right. Recruit and select. Train. Okay. Recruit, select, and train. Yes. New employees for the right job in the company. So this would be number five. Okay, accounting and finance. The last one, keep the fi financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. All right, keep the financial records of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. So this should be number six. Thanks. All right. To practice a little bit of the introduction of the vocabulary, I need you to read, read the definitions and try to remember what department is in charge of that. For example, let me see. Mm, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Probably with this one. Okay, I'm going to cover all this. Okay, if you have, <laughs> if you have the manual, then you can be a little bit cheaters. But if you don't, then you are in trouble. Number one, control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. What is it? Production. Production. So it's the production department, right? Develop, design, and improve existing products or process. Develop, design, new, or improving existing products or process. Mar marketing. Is this marketing? Yes. Everybody agree? No. No. Era, no. Era, research, era research and develop. And develop. And develop. That was research and development. All right. Buy and acquire raw material, production, equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Um, this is purchasing. Purchases. Right. <laughs> purchasing. All oh, right. Uh, in Spanish, we say Departamento de Compras, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Research and identify what customers want and need in the right place. Marketing. Marketing. Marketing, right. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Human resources. Yes, human resources. Keep the financial records of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Um, human resources and managing human resources or human human resources management but the number six accounting accounting and finances accounting and finances right okay so eso es lo que van a tratar de hacer one partner va a decir una definición y el otro partner va a decir a qué departamento se refiere obviamente traten de hacerlo Así random, ¿verdad? Y luego, el que estaba leyendo las definitions es el que va a decir 
el departamento. Ready? Are you ready? Yes. yes. Para los que no se recordaban, you can have a screenshot. <laughs> pues si necesitan double check. Porque no debería. You shouldn't. All right. Let me see. Let's go. Okay, practice. Who is star? Nelson, David, or Francisco? Or me, too. Or me. Who, who? Nelson? Nelson? Uh -huh. Okay. Start together. Okay. Uh, Answer me. Oh, okay. Keep the financial record of transaction involving monetary inflow and outflow. Wow, that pronunciation. <laughs> no. Um, let me see. Is a uh, and accounting and finance, the number six. Number six. Okay. Uh, buy and acquire right materials, production equipment, at, no sé cómo se pronuncia, etc. For the use of the organization. Buy and, um, buy and, uh, um, Oh, I forget. Let me see. Wait. Uh, uh, mark, marketing? No. Marketing. Uh, no. Buy and acquire raw materials, production equipment, organization. Mm. Oh, my God. I forget. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> please. Number three. For session. Yeah, it's compras. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's research. It's, uh, it's develop, design new, or improve exciting product or process. Es la dos. La dos. Sí. La tres es voy, bye, perdón, voy. Bye, bye, and acquire raw materials, production equipment, etc. No me acuerdo cómo se pronunciaba. ETC. 
for the use of the organization. Purchase, purchase. Vaya, la próxima es control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Ahí de las opciones que tienen, ¿cuál sería? Vaya, de todas tengo un, un concepto, ¿cómo es que se llama? Cada una, pero hay una que no las entiendo, ¿qué quieres decir? Ajá. Ah, por ejemplo, la... la... La 2 y la 3, no sé a qué se refiere. La 1 es producción. Ajá. La 2 es como investigación y desarrollo, algo así. Sí, investigación y desarrollo. Ajá, desarrollo. Por por ya sin compra. Lo, Ah, ahí está. Ah, como el compartimiento de adquisiciones, algo así. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, eh, no. Marketing. Ajá. Marketing es lo que vamos a. La número tres. La número tres dijo que ¿Sí? era la última. Buy en. Eh, aquí ya mat... no sé cómo se pronuncia esa otra production equipment equipment mm -hmm. for the use of the organization organization ajá sería la última y marketing Sería la primera del otro lado. Customer one and need at the right place. place. Right place, ¿verdad? La otra es recurse, human recurse, así se pronuncia, human recurse, manam, mm -hmm. pero, recurse. Creo que se fue. Sí, se desconectó. Voy a leer la otra. Bueno, sigamos. Dale, dale. Vaya. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the community. Uh, dijiste recruit al inicio, ¿verdad? Recruit, select, and train Ajá. new employees Ajá. for the right job. Job in the company. Ah, es que no sé cómo se dice esa palabra. Bueno, human recurse y la otra palabra, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Ma manage. Management, creo que es. Management, ajá, management. Ajá, management. Creo que es resource management. Creo. Ajá, resource management. Human Resource Management. Entonces, si quieres ayudarle tú, este. Ay, ya me volví a confundir. Nelson. Nelson. Nel ah, vaya, pues, Nelson. Ok. Repeat, please. Francisco, come on. Kit definition record of trans 
Translation involving monetary inflow and the outflow. Ah, it's my work. Uh, accounting and finance. Correct. Eh, ¿Verdad que son todas las que te tengo que preguntar? Sí, pero si puedes, de, de diferentes, eh, en, ¿cómo se llama? No en orden. No sino, en orden. ¿eh? Ajá, sí, no importa. Quiero ver. Research and identify what customer one and need at the right place. So, yeah. Marketing. Uh, so, uh, the payload, the thing new or improve exit product or process. Of research pro and process. No sé process. Cómo process. 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 Thank you. Uh, welcome. Uh, research and development. Repeat. Research and development. Correct. Lo que pasa es que, perdón, no, no les escuchaba bien ni nada y no sé si me escuchaban, pero es que porque estaba con el Wi-Fi, pero no me... Yo me podría aprender. <risa> sí. Ay, no, Entonces, ¿cuál era? Hasta, hasta aquí voy a llegar yo. <risa> <risa> no. No me voy a desconectar. <risa> no. Bueno. No me acuerdo cuál fue la que dije. Mm, eh, no, no he dicho ninguna. <risa> Ah, ya estaba una imagen Ahorita, buena. Bueno. Es que estaba leyendo una que no leía bien. Ah. Vaya, vaya dice. Léala. Con, control and supervision, mm. the production, workforce, and invent, inventory. Production. La número uno. Sí, es production. Bye. Research and TV, mm. what customer want and need at the right place. Marketing. Marketing. Mm. Bye. Mm. Buy another raw materials, production, equipment, X. For the use of the organization. Purchasing. No sé ahí la ley alguien más. Para tratar de adivinar ahí. Dale, Wilmer. Ok. ¿Quién va a leer? Leela. Dale, Vio, leela. Ah, ok. Eh, vamos a, a vamos a, a a ver no sé para pronunciar me cuesta un poco eh, dice eh, research and identify what customers what and the need and the right place otra vez Research, 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 and identify what customers want and need and the rich place. Yes, I am. Marketing. 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 Ah, que va a investir. Y que los clientes que quieren necesitar en el lugar. Sí, uh -huh. marca. Marketing. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, la otra es. Eh, voy a adquirir rap material. Sí, 
materials. materiales Production. product uh -huh. equipment equipment ¿Qué es equipment? equipamiento oh equipment equipment etcétera sí. etc it is it is for that you uh, of the organization 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 Organization. 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 No, dale, dale. Esta palabra de inventory. ¿Es inventory o inventory? Inventory. Inventory se escribe. Inventory. Es inventory. ¿En cuál? En la que es la, una, ¿Y la, la primera. La cuarta, de donde es el control en super. Control en super Ah, control en super. Control en super. Supervise the product workforce and inventory. Inventory. Inventory, de inventario. Inventory. Es Tori o Tari. Inventory. Tori. Tori. Inventory. Entonces se pronuncia igual como se escribe. En teoría. Inventory. 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 Solo que la vamos a poner ese acento. ¿eh? Inventory. Inventory. Inventario. Inventario. Vaya, la otra sería marketing, que sería la primera. Preserve. Research and identify what customer wants and need at the right place. ¿Cómo es la primera palabra? Reserve. Research. 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 Develop. Develop. Research. Research. Research and identify. 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 Uh -huh. What? Mm. Customers. Customer want and need. Need and need. In the right place. Uh -huh. Yes. Exacto. Eso es marketing. La otra, ah, la otra ya la habíamos contestado. El presupuesto y busca el proveedor. Ya, ya, ya. Ah, pues sí, ah, pues sí, también. Sí, sí, sí. Entonces va 4, 5, 6, 1, 1, 2, 3. Yes. Miren, ¿y cuál es el significado entonces de purchasing? Porque ella lo asoció a compras. Pero Teacher. purchasing. What, what is the meaning of, of purchasing? Eso For, es compras o adquisiciones. <ríe> pero por qué, ajá, eso, ajá, adquisiciones, pero por qué a mí me lo tira literal como adquisitivo, como si fuera algo uh -huh. como, como... Por el ING. Sea... Lo que pasa es que es, en, en, es una regla que para convertir un verbo en un noun le ponemos el ING, pero así, a, así se dice, purchase. Like a mock. ¿Cómo se dice? Purchasing. Purchasing. No, purchasing. Purchasing. Uh -huh. purchasing. Teacher. Thanks. This rule is, this rule is like a mock. <laughs> it happens in English. Once yeah. you are aware of it, then, then it's easy. It's like swimming, for example. The action is swim, but if you want to make it into a noun, then you say swimming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> todo está bien, todo está bien, todo está bien.
All right, everybody come back. Yes. Just a few. We are waiting for the room number one, number two, somebody, room number three, number four, and somebody from room number five. Let's wait. Who is this man? <laughs> Who's talking? He. It's you. It's you. Oh, marry me, Rebecca. <laughs> no. All right, everybody come back. Nice. Let me see. Okay. I think we got the same vocabulary on the presentation. Well, for some people, it might, might be new, totally new, but some other are already familiar with this because you work in different departments in your companies, right? So we got the vocabulary production. Let me see. Research and development, purchasing, marketing, human resources, human human resources management, accounting and finances. Let me see probably that this picture has has moved. All right. Do you still have any question about any of the departments? No. No really. Mm. No. All right. So this is the vocabulary we've been describing. Okay. Before we move, maybe you want to share what department you work for. Not necessarily has to be this one. I mean, this one is just as part of the general vocabulary. What, let's say, I work for the name of the company and I work for the production department or I am in the production department, I am in the purchasing department, I'm in the research and development department or any other department that your company might have. For example, I work for the foundation department. So mm, I'm not quite sure if they call it department, but I work for the foundation for the social responsibility part of the company. So maybe you have any other area or any other department in the company. So maybe you can say it on the chat so we can read it and we can see what department. I know many people work for the finances and accounting department, right? Okay, would you like to share on the chat, please? I'm going to read. Mm -hmm. Let's see what department you work for and what area. Okay, first initial department, All right? For maintenance. For technical department, for technology department, right? Okay, for the accountants and finances, all right, for finance. 
the mother. Mm -hmm. For the research, investigation, development, marketing, sales. Okay, accounting and uh -huh. accounting and finance, production, sales department. Great. Okay. We have a lot of accounting. <laughs> a lot of people in accounting. Nobody works for human resources. We need some influence in human resources. Management. Okay. Accounting, sales, accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. Oh my God. A lot of numbers. A lot of money. <laughs> accounting accounting i think this is the the first time i have so many people from the accounting and finance department all right is it true is it true that if you are an accountant you attract the money Accountant, okay, accountant and finance, warehouse manager and branch supervisor. All right, nice. Mm -hmm. Great. Very good. Nice. Bye. Vamos a empezar con este topic que es súper clásico en inglés. <ríe> Siempre necesitamos hacer questions. Y si se recuerdan, ya habíamos hecho yes, no questions. Yes? Like, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you work from seven to five? Yes, I do. No, I don't. But eso es una yes, no question. Pues, la verdad es que sigue en la misma estructura, solo que se le antepone lo que quiero saber. La information word. What, where, when, how, what time. Pero de ahí voy a necesitar siempre un auxiliary, un subject y un verb. Puede ser que todavía necesite un complement, pero no es como mandatory. O sea, esto es de ser necesario, pues sí le pongo el complemento, ¿verdad? Porque tenga sentido la question. Pero hay preguntas que de un solo ya tienen sentido. Por ejemplo, what do I do? What do you do? Where do you work? Ya después del verbo, ya no necesito complementar porque ya tiene sentido la question. Si hubiese necesidad, pues lo hago. When do we go? To meetings. Aquí sí necesito un complement. When do we go to meetings? How do they plan the marketing? What time do you take breakfast? Right? And then you have the possible answers right here. What do I do? What do you do? This is como una clásica question. Como, ¿qué es lo que haces? ¿A qué te dedicas? Right? So, what do you do? I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in the accounting department. When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's need. What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. So, esa será la formula. What? Where, when, how, who, what time. Esto va a ser siempre la information word de lo que quiera saber. Luego, auxiliary, subject, and verb. So, WH word or information word, auxiliary, subject, verb. WH word or information word, auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. WH word, 
auxiliary, subject, verb, complement. WH word, aquí me pueden decir, pero una WH word no necesariamente es una palabra. Like, sola, puede ser como una expression, ¿ya? Yeah? Complementa con what time, porque aquí lo que necesito saber es la hora. What time do you take breakfast? Que ahí podría ser también como how often, yes? How old, yes? And then you have an expression of information that you need to know. So this is the structure, okay? What do you do? Where do you work? When do we go to meetings? How do they plan the marketing? What time do you take breakfast? Bye. Hay dudas, preguntas, consultas, hasta acá. No, all clear. All clear? Great. All right. I have some other information words. Como la structure. Como internalizar la fórmula. ¿En qué va? ¿En qué orden va? Para saber estructurar las preguntas de forma apropiada. What? Aquí, si se fijaron en la, en la imagen anterior, todos, para todas las questions, el auxiliar era do, pero porque los subjects eran I, you, we, they. I, you, we, they, voy a utilizar do, pero si el sujeto fuera she or he, voy a utilizar does. Yes, For the third person. Because of the third person, exactly. Pero el orden es el mismo. What, where, when, what time, how often. Do or does the subject. You, he, they, Becky, whoever, and the main verb. Aquí si se fijan algunas questions hasta el verbo y ya tiene sentido. Pero otras pues necesitan un complemento. Entonces digo, what do you have? Hasta ahí, ¿qué tiene? Está bien. Where does she live? ¿Dónde vive ella? Y ya no necesito un complemento, por eso ahí ya tiene sentido. Pero... La siguiente. When does he play? Play qué? Football. When does he play football? Yes. What time do they get home? How often does Becky have online lessons? Yes. More specific. Yes. When you need to specify something. Okay. Yes. When you need to ask for... For something that you need more information plus the verb. Todavía hasta el verbo no tiene sentido. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, when does he play? Puede ser en general, cuando juega. Pero juega qué? Entonces yo quiero agregar fútbol. When does he play fútbol? When does he play tennis? When does he play? Podría ser cuando juega, muy general. Okay. What time do they get? Eso sí necesito complementarla porque lo que necesito ver es a qué hora llega a la casa. What time that mean do they get home? How often does Becky have, have, hasta ahí, have what? Have online lessons, right? So I need the complement. All right? Questions? No questions? Are you sure? Bye. Let me move some into what we are. Sorry. We will compartir this picture because of a reference for making WH questions. WH questions or information questions, es lo mismo, ¿ok? Eh, algunos me llaman WH questions porque todas las palabras what, where, when, inician con WH, so that's why they call them WH questions, or WH words, or information words, or information questions. 
ok vale, si les acabo de compartir la imagen para que tengan cómo guiarse de cómo crear las las WH washes, ok vale, voy a dejar un ejercicio ese es súper sencillo hay que Match the questions with the answers. Let me see. Y wait a minute. Bueno, primero vamos a crear los groups con los que vamos a trabajar. Let's go. Hola, hola. ¿Cuál es el, es el vídeo? Ilumíneme. Hola, hola. Es el que acaba de mandar la teacher al, al chat. Vaya, quiero ver. ¿Pero qué vamos a hacer con él? Ah, oh, no lo había visto. Vamos a ver. Vamos a unir. Bueno, vamos a unir la pregunta con las respuestas. Respuesta. Los numerales con los... los... Con las, eh, por ejemplo, what time does she get up? Pues, eh, she get up, gets up at seven. 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 Sí. Uh -huh. Y la otra, how does she go to the school? Con la A. No. Ah, no. Con la... Pero no. She walks to school. B. Ajá, B. She walks to school. Sí, es que la pregunta es cómo va ella a la escuela, ¿verdad? Ajá, y ella va caminando para la escuela. ¿Cómo se va caminando para la escuela? Vaya la tres... Does she have breakfast every day? Mm, ahí sería... No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Sí, porque no hay una respuesta. Uh -huh. No hay nada. What does she do in the afternoon? In the afternoon. Bueno, yo creo que ya está. Y que chat at seven seven. Me avisas, Wilmer, para si las compramos. Ok. Eh, bueno, ahorita, bueno, la primera que dice, what time does she get up? Uh -huh. Creo que es la que es, she get up seven. Uh -huh. Sí, es la C. Ok. La... okay. Después, bueno, la 2. Uh -huh. How does she go to school? Dice. Uh -huh. ah, ah, dice cómo se vaya la. Ah, ok, entonces esta sería She walks to school. She walks to school, sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, does she have breakfast every day? Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, 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 todos los días eh. 
Chico. Tu pedo. Eh. Chiro, chiro, la. <ríe> que no sé, ¿Qué es pedo? Eh, escama. Ah, ok, ya pues. Ah, tal vez, vea. No. No. <ríe> No. Uh, ok, quiero ver. Does you have breakfast every day? Uh -huh. ¿Qué te está preguntando? Está, está preguntando, eh, ella va a tener, tiene, eh, ella o ella. Uh -huh. Ajá. Breakfast, ella desayuna todos los días. Pero sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Cuál podría ser una posible respuesta? Eh. O tal vez, ajá, porque está preguntando si desayuna todos los días, entonces uh -huh. posiblemente no desayuna todos los días. Uh -huh. No sé si es esa la que es, no, si no hace. No, vea, porque está diciendo no. No, no, si no, ella, no, 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 si no, si no, si no, si no, 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 si no, si no, si no, si no, si no, si Uh, what, what does, what does, what does she do in the afternoon? The afternoon. Ya usaste C, B y D. Te queda uh -huh. A y E. ¿Cuál? Ah, uh, dice... Uh -huh. En la tarde, dice. Uh -huh. uh, what does she do? Uh -huh. Lee la última. Ajá, como que es, eh, she does her homework. Ajá, cabal. En la tarde, ajá. La e, y por descarte, ¿verdad? la última es la A. Ajá, ajá, cabal, porque dice B. Okay. ¿Alguien tiene diferentes las cosas? No, así está bien. Vale. Pues si quieren, practíquenlo para que tengan una idea de cómo. Bueno, háblenlo y si se equivocan en alguna pronunciación o tienen alguna pregunta, pregúntenme. Ok. Bueno, voy a hacer una pregunta y no sé quién la puede responder. A ver. What time does she get up? Ok, again. Ok, answer, uh, question me, gracias. What time does she get up? Wait, I can see the picture. Repeat again, please. Get up. I question you. Demo. No. Uh, number one. What time does she get up? Um, she get up at 70. Seven. Seven? Seven. Yeah. Solo así, ¿verdad? Seven. Yeah, yeah. No, no I, I am or PM. No. PM. Uh, I am. Oh, okay. Number two, who does she go to school? She walk the school. Wal, verdad? Walk. Walks. 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 Permitíme lo anotar. Walks. Walks. To a school. To a school. Okay. Number three. Mm, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Bueno, entonces quedaría esto para corroborar. Mm -hmm. Ya le digo la. La primera, ¿Sí? what time does she get up? Get up. Sería con la C. La, la primera. C. Sí, sería la, la C. Sí, she get up at seven. At seven. Sí. La dos de uh, how. Mm -hmm. How does she go to a school? She goes to school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y es que ella, ¿cómo va ella a la escuela? Mm -hmm. 
La otra, la tercera es... ¿A qué horas tiene el desayuno? Cada día, ¿verdad? Ella cada día, ¿eh? Quiero ver, dice, ajá. Does she have breakfast? Ajá, every day. Ella Quería... toma su desayuno todos los días. Ajá, todos los días. No, she doesn't. She no, doesn't. Ya. La cuatro. What does she do in the afternoon? ¿Qué hace ella por la tarde? Eh, sería con la E. She does her homework. Ella hace su tarea. Ajá. Y la última. When does she go to bed? Cuando ella va a dormir o a la cama, digamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. She goes to bed at 10. 10, 10 p.m. También raro, ¿verdad? Porque dice when. Cuando, ajá. Uh -huh. Cuando va ella a la cama. Es que eh, con esa WH question es bien complicado porque, por ejemplo, el, el what que significa qué. Ajá. A veces lo, lo utilizan como, como por, como el guay, de por qué. En serio. A veces, a veces utilizan el guay, sí, esa cuestión es bien, bien un poco confusa. Ajá. Así como ahorita están utilizando el when, en vez de decir what time does she go to the bed, a qué hora ella va a la cama. Ah, sí, sí. Sería lo correcto, pienso yo, pero no en el inglés complicado. Sí, tanta cosa. Sí, pero sí, las WH questions son varias, son como, si no mal recuerdo, son nueve, y las how questions son seis, si no me... ¿Cómo, cómo, ah, ¿Cómo se va ella? ¿Cómo se va ella a la escuela? Uh -huh. Por eso dice, ella va a la escuela caminando, no sé, uh -huh. algo así, uh -huh. atrás. Chihuahua. To ask uh -huh. How, how, uh -huh. como, how. Como o cuando, uh -huh. pero aquí sería como. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. How does she have? Okay. How she does. Um, uh, does she have? Es que me quité los audífonos porque venía manejando en la moto y como venía en la carretera, entonces para venir concentrado, por eso no escuché bien. Finish teacher. Finish. Ay. Hello, hello. You all finish? Yes. Yes. Nice.
Okay. Here you have. What time does she get up? What was the answer? Mm -hmm. Little C. Letter C. She gets up at seven. Right. B. Okay. How does she go to school? B. She walks to the school. She walks. She walks to school. She walks to school. Does she have breakfast every day? Mm -hmm. Letter D. Letter D. No, she doesn't. Actually, this is a yes, no question. Does she have breakfast every day? No, she doesn't. It's not a WH or an information question, right? Yeah. What does she do in the afternoon? She does her homework. She does her homework. And when does she go to bed? Mm -hmm. she, she goes to bed at 10. She goes to bed at 10. All right, that was super easy. Yes? Yes. Very easy. All right, let me see. We're gonna just, hold on. Clear all this. And here we have another practice, but we're gonna do this all together. So le voy a dar un par de minutitos para que Decifren cuál de las dos opciones mejor complementa la question. Select the correct option. What or how? What or when? Who or where? What or what time? Where or what? How often or how many? Right? Check it out. Vean y hagan sus apuestas. <laughs> Which question word do do you think best complements or completes the whole question, all right? What music? Yes. What music do you like?
All right. You've got your options. Tell me. First is what? What music do you like? How music do you like? No. What music do you like, right? What kind of music do you like? Sounds better. Number two. When? When do you surf? When? When do you surf when? the internet? What do you surf the internet? No, because you're saying the internet. So when? When do you surf the internet, right? <laughs> Who or where do you play tennis? Where? Where? If you say who, probably you need who do you play tennis with? Tuvieron with al final, ahí se podría hacer who. Who do you play tennis with? But in this case, where do you play tennis? Number four. What time? Okay. What, what, time? Time? what time do you have lunch? Do you what do you have lunch? No, sounds repetitive, right? What do you have for lunch? Probably. But what time do you have lunch? Where or what do you buy your jeans? Where? Where? Where, Where? Where? For a place. Where do you buy? Where do you buy your jeans? How often or how many? How often? Yeah, how often. often because it's how asking for oh. frequency right how often does your mm -hmm. brother have tennis tournaments yes oh, how right. many is for trial how many is for countable like how many brothers do you have how many sisters do you have that could be that's for countable that's a number how often is for frequency okay Questions? No, for no. the moment. No, right now it's all clear. All right. I'm afraid. Let me just double check. Yes, I think we have an exercise from the manual. Yes, we do. So let me just show it to you. I bet you've seen it already. Bye. Aquí es un poquito más de reto. Mi suggestion es que vean la imagen que les compartí de cómo estructurar las WH question, las WH or information questions. Que va primero de WH word, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Entonces, based, tomando en cuenta las answers que tienen aquí, tienen que formular la question. Ay, no, esto requiere un poquito de, pues, de tiempo. Les voy a ayudar con la primera. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Every Friday. ¿Cuál podría ser la WH word o la information word que yo necesite? What do you do on Friday? What do you do on Friday? Suena bien. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Okay. Pero si yo enfatizo every Friday, ¿qué es lo que necesito preguntar? ¿Cuándo? When. Ajá. When. Uh -huh. when. Uh, when. Uh, when. when do oh. you have to write a report about the production? Yes, entonces, por eso les digo, tienen que como buscar el énfasis, por ejemplo aquí, I work in the blue buildings, estoy hablando de un edificio azul, tengo que preguntar dónde, tengo que saber cuál es la WH word. Yes, María and I start working at 10 p.m. We design and others create the new products. Right. Lo voy a dejar que lo piensen un ratito, vean. ¿Cuál sería la palabra indicada para iniciar cada una de las questions? Solo son five, la primera ya la hicimos. Igual la pueden reescribir para que no se les olvide. Y luego lo comparamos, ¿ok? Two minutes. 
Traten de decidir on your own, by yourself. Y cuando ya las tengan, me avisa. When you are ready, let me know. Remember, WH word, WH or question word. Y luego, by the auxiliary, the subject, y el verb. Or complement, if necessary. Ready? Not yet? I, I think. I think so. <laughs> I believe so. Almost ready. Good. All right. Two more minutes for the ones that haven't finished yet. All right, you compare your answers with the same people, all right? Let me see. So, teacher, I think only the final question. So, I think that is um, hmm. why why they have a meeting. So, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Why? Uh huh. They have a meeting. You need the auxiliary. Why they no. before they uh -huh. um, so what is the auxiliary for they <laughs> do or does uh do uh -huh. and why? why why they do have a meeting before they you need to see why do they why why do no yes even why if do... it doesn't sound very natural why do they have a meeting why do they yeah sure <laughs> okay. why do they... well why do they <laughs> it's like have a like meeting? the example how do they plan the marketing okay uh-huh it's, it's the structure and it's the formula. If you it's say so why they rare. have a meeting, it's so why rare. they have a meeting, it's fine. It's fine because 
we understand what you want to say, right? But grammatically speaking, you need the auxiliary. Hmm. Not convinced. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm convinced, but that's so rare. It doesn't sound natural. <laughs> yeah. I know. But that's grammar. <laughs> the grammar is a muck. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh my god, some people are just left out from Zoom. No, I finished. Oh god. All right. Some people say that Zoom kick them out. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Francisco trying to join. I also saw Stephanie, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poor child. Why? Sería why? Ha, why? Miss, espérame, le voy a preguntar ahorita. Miss, tell, tell me, tell me. I have a question. En number four, yes, nosotras decimos que se escucha bien. What do we at work? What do we at work? Pero, ajá, pero otra lógica en mí dice que se puede decir what do we do? Exacto, porque una, un do es el auxiliar y el otro do es que hace. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Entonces sería, what do we do at work? Exacto. ¡Ay, qué emoción! <ríe> pues también podrían usar el, el sujeto you. Por ejemplo, si alguien le dice, bueno, ¿y ustedes qué hacen? Y cuando van a responder, dicen, ah, nosotros diseñamos y otros crean los otros. Mm. Ajá. En, en la pregunta el you es opcional porque es cuando ustedes les preguntan a otras personas ya al responder las personas responden con we con en, en plural vean uh -huh. mm, ya yeah. uh -huh. gracias no problem vaya la número 5 dijiste oh the number 5 they have a meeting because we have to to talk is uh, es que la pregunta sería en la que tengo dudas es en la de uh, que dice I work in the building bastaría con preguntar en dónde trabaja para que la respuesta sea válida, sí. Sería una pregunta, sería ¿Where do you work? Do you work? Ajá, entonces, ahí uh, no estoy seguro si la respuesta podría aplicar esa I work in the blue building como especificando que trabaja en el edificio azul, pero... Uh -huh pero no sé si también la pregunta va dirigida solo como el nombre de la empresa. O sea, si tengo que preguntar literalmente en qué edificio trabaja. No. 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 Porque ahí te está diciendo como que ella trabaja en Ajá. ese edificio. Sería como... Uh... O como que vos trabajas en ese edificio. Porque ahí sería como which, which building, cuál... Which, which creo que es which building do you work algo así ajá porque considero que sería así como which building do you work porque sería como en cuál edificio trabajas ¿Qué están preguntando? Hmm. How do? 
How do, how do they plan the marketing? Como, how do, quiero ver. ¿Qué ¿Y cómo le podemos dejar qué funciones tienen? No sé. O lo dejamos así como how do the plan the plan the marketing. Porque ellos tienen que reunirse. Me quiero ver la respuesta, la respuesta. Sí, porque ellos, what do they have to meet? Porque ellos, porque ellos se van a reunir. Uh -huh. No, es que la, la pregunta sería por qué porque ellos se reúnen con otras personas, como que estuvieran dos departamentos reunidos. Uh -huh, cabal, así se entiende. Uh -huh. Tienen con el área, pongámosle con el área de adquisiciones, que era el push and de la del ejercicio pasado, digo yo. Ah, okay. Esas son las adquisiciones. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Porque ellos están reunidos con el departamento de adquisiciones. Vaya, uh sería, -huh. why do they have to meet? To meet with the con? Why do they? Why do they? Uh -huh. why? Uh -huh. have, have to meet? Sumit de reunión, ¿verdad? Así como está en la respuesta. Miren, miren. Ajá. Sí, sí. With, with, with miren, the con. De, ajá. Este, the purchasing area. Department, no sería. Ah, oh, department, cabal, correcto. Purchasing department. Ajá. Repetir la fecha. Vaya, le digo. Sería why es W H Y. Sí, sí, sí. Why do they have to, to meet meet with W I T H. Sí. Espacio de de T H E. Sí. Y le va a poner purchasing como en el ejercicio pasado. Sí, sí. Department. Como departamento, solo que le quita la O. Department. Department. Ahí, la pregunta significa por qué ellos tienen que reunirse con el departamento de adquisiciones. Y la respuesta es ellos tienen que reunirse porque tienen que hablar de las entradas y salidas. Uh -huh. Y ahí muere el dato. Vale, no sé, duda, pregúntenme cómo dejan. Solo revisemos ya cómo quedaron. Ok. Veamos la primera. La primera de la primera. ¿Qué do you do every Friday? Vale, sería: ¿Qué do you do every day? Uh -huh. La respuesta, I had to write a report about the production every day. Yo tengo que escribir un reporte acerca de la producción cada viernes. Uh -huh. Vaya, en la segunda sería, which do you, do you, do you work building in? ¿Cuál edificio trabajas tú? Uh -huh. Y la respuesta es, I work in the blue building. Yo trabajo en el edificio azul. Uh -huh. La tercera sería, what time do you work? work? ¿A qué horas? 
¿A qué horas? Ustedes trabajan, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? Ah, no, pero aquí nos falta algo, compañero. No, nos falta start. What time do you start? Working, creo que sería la pregunta. Working. Aunque no sé si es working, va en Working. En el... Working es como que ya estás ejecutando la acción. Ajá. ¿A qué horas estás empezando a trabajar? Uh -huh. Starting work. What time do, you, do you start work? Do you start work? Pero es que work solo es a qué horas empiezas a trabajar. Do you start to work? Do you start to work? No, pero que no. Uh -huh. okay. What time do you work? ¿Qué horas empiezas a trabajar? What time do you start work? Vaya, pues si solo es work. No es working. What time do you start work? Correcto, estamos bien ahí. Vaya, ¿qué horas empiezan ustedes a trabajar? All right, you all finished, right? Yes. yes. Great. We are finished. Nice. Let me just compare your answers. Let's see, let's, let's see, let's see. I have to write a report about the production every Friday. If you say when, do you have to write a report about the production? Is there an option? Yes. When do you have to write a report about the production? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. ¿Tienen alguna otra opción para la number one? What do you have to do every Friday? Podría ser también. What do you have to do every Friday? I have to write a report about the production. Right? Ahí creo que va a depender mucho el énfasis en lo que queramos saber. En este caso, yo lo puse enfatizando el every Friday. So, por eso utilicé when. Yes? Va, para el number two, I work in the blue building. Ahí se no había donde perdernos, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? On salinitas. Okay. <laughs> Some people are singing. Where do you work? I work in the blue building. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number three. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Uh -huh. what, what, what time? What time do you, what time do, you do you and Maria start work? What time? Do you, you and Maria okay. start to work? Start, start working a ballet in English. Okay. 
porque el primer verbo es estar, empezar. Entonces, después de estar, usted puede utilizar el verbo en ING, estar working, estar studying, estar completing the exercise. Right. Ok, let me see. So, what time do you and Maria start working? Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. We design and others create new products. How do you plan your squad? What do we do at work? What do we do or what do you do? Ahí también, acuérdense que el subject es como dependiendo si le están preguntando a otras personas. Yo lo hice diferente, pero no sé si está bien. ¿Sí? Uh, who this who does sing and creates a product? Who designs and creates a new product? Value. Yes. Si usted quiere enfocar de who, right? Sí, porque ahí está contestando los dos, vea. O sea, quién lo hace una uh -huh. cosa y quién hace el otro. Se podría dejar entonces, teacher, el who. Who do you plan to work? Si utilizamos en who, ahí sí no vamos a utilizar el do. Oh, porque okay. el who es como, vaya, ya estamos hablando del sujeto. Entonces, ¿quién lo hace? Ahí who designs and who creates the new product. Uh -huh. Ahí sí, pero tenemos que echar el verbo con ese, who designs and who creates, porque quién, quién hace tal cosa, quién hace la otra cosa. Pero podría ser, what do you do at work? Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. We design and others create them. O, oh, what do we do? Si lo pero, pero ¿por qué yes. what do you? Pero si, si, está, si él lo está diciendo como en plural. Cuando las personas generalmente le preguntan y la respuesta no solo es mía, sino que involucra a otras personas, yo digo we. Por ejemplo, si a mí me pregunta, ¿en what do you do at your foundation? Entonces digo, we oh, okay. educate, we transform lives through education. Uh -huh. Igual, bueno, si ustedes lo quieren hacer con el pronombre we, what do we do? Oh, we design in others, uh -huh, como auto-reflexionando, right? Okay. That's valid, completely. All right. And they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. So rare. I know. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, um, why, why do they have a meeting. Yes. Nosotras así la hicimos. En este caso también requiere un poco de interpretation. Ay, no, puede ser un poco shocking porque uno espera que todo sea como bien lineal, ¿verdad? Pero generalmente es como que, ¿y por qué tiene, por, y por qué tienen una meeting ellos? Mm. Como estar planeando en esa meeting que nosotros mostremos las los ingresos y los egresos, los inflows en los outflows, o por qué ellos crearon, o por qué ellos planearon una meeting. Pero en realidad quienes vamos a hablar somos nosotros, ¿verdad? Right? Como para, no sé, indagar o para ir a... a... Nosotros la hicimos diferente, Yes. Dígame, ¿cómo sí, la hicieron? Nosotros la hicimos, why do they have to meet with the persons in the department? What? Lol. Bien pensado. Ajá. Porque en realidad, ¿quiénes van a pedirles cuentas a ustedes? Nunca se me ocurrió. <ríe> igual, nosotros igual a dos también la, la hicimos un poco diferente. O del accounting department también. No, pero ser. está bien, no está uh -huh. bien. Eso sí, nunca, bien. nunca se me pasó por la mente. Te estoy <ríe> pero eso luego, porque nosotros tendemos a ser como bien lineales, con que creamos la, 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 la pregunta, uh -huh. pero. Ajá, no la estamos como enfocando a la, a la parte del trabajo. ¿Cómo les quedó la dos? La dos la hicimos diferente, pero ahí, este, bueno, ahí tomamos el atrevimiento de utilizar una WH Question que, que todavía no hemos Dígame. usado ahorita, que es la de which, cuál. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nosotros la, la hicimos, which do you work building in? 
Podría ser, which building do you work in? Primero which el... building. Ajá, cuando usted tiene el... varias opciones, entonces dice, which building, which car, yes. el... which city, which department, which department do you work in, right? Porque acuérdense que el which es como cuando tiene varias opciones, entonces tiene que decir, qué departamento, qué color, qué edificio. Sí, pero es válido también. Ok. Don't worry. Por eso les decía. Acá lo ideal hubiese sido que les señalaran de qué es lo que tienen que preguntar, de qué es que tienen que formular la question para mm -hmm. saber qué WH word tenían que utilizar. Correcto. Ajá, nosotros por énfasis hemos dado como practically the last option, right? But in this case, for example, practically everything. Uh -huh. And here, because, the reason because, right? Okay. okay. To the point. Any questions? No? So we keep practicing, no problem. Recuerdense que hoy es apenas el inicio de esta unidad. I know we have a lot. <laughs> Veamos, vamos a tomar la attendance for the last time this night. This session, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Andrea. Andy. No sé si no se conectó la Andy. Brian. Here. Christian. Present. Okay. David. Hi, teacher. Hi. Doris. Present. Douglas. Present, 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 Hi. present. <laughs> Stephanie, ya no la dejo entrar Zoom. Present, yes, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ya como había visto el message, yo dije, ya no la dejo entrar Zoom. All right, nice. Francisco. Present. Gracias. Yeah. Hector. Present teacher. Hi. Joanna. Jose Antonio. Carla. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ricardo. Present teacher. Wendy. Present. Wilmer. Present teacher. Thank you. Va, en teoría nos tendría que acompañar. Mm, ya estuvo Doris, ya estuvo Douglas. Sería Stephanie. Yeah. Yes. yes. Y todo de la tanda. Aquí estoy. Bye. Ok. Bueno, everybody. Go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Si van a la playa, inviten. <laughs> Está lloviendo en marea. Se van a Cancún también. <risa> ok, on vacation. Ay, ya. Yeah. Me quedaron de viendo una sopa de pollo. <risa> Los recuerdos de Cancún. The souvenirs. The souvenirs, <risa> aunque sea tajín. <risa> Ay, no. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Eso nos fueron. <laughs>